Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day. Today I will be continuing my mission to explore Project 42 and showcase the creative mode bases uh, that people built here. So let's head out and find another one. Cascading Light? I think I went there already. That was where the sun... That was where the... What was it called? Solar place was? Oh, and I've been to Cafe Bull as well. Takeoff. I haven't been there. Yeah, Cafe Bull was the bowling alley one. And Cascading Light was the solar hotel or whatever it was called now we're going to take off <laughs> this is a new save so I keep getting milestones Okay, is there any markers? There we go. Take off. So it might be another one that looks like a rocket, maybe? It's kind of funny, I've been finding these rocket bases right after SpaceX just launched the Falcon Heavy rocket. Oop, yep, it's a rocket, all right. That's funny. Funny coincidence. In case you didn't know, um, Sean Murray met Elon Musk back before Hello, um, back before No Man's Sky came out. <clears throat> it was uh, E3 one of the years and Elon Musk showed up or requested to meet with Sean Murray after E3 and so he got to he got to meet Elon Musk there was an interview where Sean Murray talked about his meeting with young Elon Musk Predator Hunter says where is the key to start it Ten nine eight seven six five four three T two one. Awesome. <laughs> Swisher nineteen sixty one says Swisher nineteen sixty one. Hello from Texas. I need to go ahead and leave mine before I forget, as usual. I just said, is the Falcon heavy? Rilski says, so this is where Voyager 1 ended up. Let's see, who made this one? Yep, this is another DG squared. So he made the rocket one. He made this rocket one. Then he made the rocket one that was crashed into the ground. So I kind of did this backwards. Probably would have worked better if I'd gone to the one that is in the process of launching first and then go to the crashed one, but whatever. Yep, this one's called Launch Site. Yay, another decal. Let's go up into the... This is the... Um, this isn't the rocket that I'm in. This is the building next to it that fuels it. 
Nice, and it's got an entrance to it. Cool, and he used ramps to make a little bridge across to it. I'll go into the rocket next. I'm going to look up here first. Oh, so, I guess, oh yeah, this is mission control in here, like it said. And he used the round corridors to make, oh. Okay, so these are just observation decks next to the rocket. Cool, so this is the mission control building, and there's the rocket over there. It's built much like the rocket we saw <clears throat> last time that was crashed into the ground, but this one is not crashed. Ooh, neat coloring there. So this is the... I don't know if this is the bridge, or is this the bridge? This is probably the bridge, yeah. Cool. Nice little bridge inside the dome. Captain's chair. And the various crew members seats. It's kind of close to a Star Trek bridge, almost. About as close as you can get to with the base building stuff. Oh, you can't get down to the lower part, so we'll have to go back down. See what's in the other part. Nope, nope, wait, yeah, this is where I wanted, oh, nope, this doesn't lead anywhere. <laughs> I like those rocket booster things on the side. The crashed one had similar ones. Nice, so this is the crew quarters down here. And this is probably the captain's quarters, just based on how it looks. And let's see if there's anywhere to enter at the bottom by the fuel. Nope, he just built a base with, and by base I mean the bottom part. <laughs> the whole thing is a base, but he built a bottom section out of the garage infrastructure pieces <clears throat> and built the, the rest on top of it. Pretty cool. Nice rocket ship getting prepped for takeoff. So, this has been DG Squared's r rocket ship being about to take off. I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day, and I'll catch you on the next day that I am Mac.